The Apostle Paul thinks this man Elimas is under the control of the devil, and he turns to him and says, you are a child of the devil, an enemy of everything that's right. You are full of every kind of trickery and deceit. Paul predicted this would end badly for Elimas, and it did. He forewarned him he would lose his sight. He did. Now, let me just stop there for a second. Paul says, you're a child of the devil, an enemy of everything that's right. I'm going to ask you a question. Are you afraid to say that to somebody who is blatantly doing evil? Because I'm not. He says, you're an enemy of everything that is right. Now you tell me, I'm not saying that we're living as Puritans here, but you tell me if you can with good conscience, look at the news cycle today, this day, isolate one day, and tell me that what you are exposed to is not basically the enemy of everything that is right, because that's what you're being exposed to. And people say, well, how could every outlet be evil? They're not. They're given the talking points. And they all have to say the same talking points. I don't care what station you listen to. You're going to hear the same words repeated in different places. You think you watch your local TV station, Channel 7. I'm using that as an example. It doesn't matter what number it is. But that station actually is a subsidiary or a station within this city that has tentacles in another city and you keep moving on. They're not independently generating what they're telling you. It's talking points that all come down. So when people say, well, what do you do with somebody who is an enemy of everything that's right? You seek out the right, and you seek to avoid the evil. It doesn't mean you don't watch the news. It means you start looking at what is the intent behind this. See, we no longer, I'm sorry, but we no longer have news reporting. We have agenda detailing. We have editorializing agendas to put in your ears so that you, because people, let's just face it, the machines behind the people think you and I are not smart enough to think for ourselves. So we have to be told what to think. And that comes through mass repetition. I'm just telling you, this is what Paul said to this man. And I don't think Paul was afraid when he said it. I'm going to ask you again. Is there anybody in the sound of my voice that is afraid to confront the wrong and say you are an enemy of everything that's right? Because I'm not. No, there was a time when I said be, be diplomatic. But I think that chapter is over. There is no diplomacy. You cannot reason with the devil. You cannot reason with evil spirits or evil forces. So you have one choice. Stand on what is right. And don't get into this, well, how do I know what's right? If you have to have that conversation, you shouldn't even be listening to me. I'm sorry, I'm just going to say that. Come to this house, magnify the Lord, lift up holy hands, our hearts in one accord. Worship and bow down before Him. house.